Hi, and welcome back to this video series on object-oriented programming in Python. In the previous video, we learned what object-oriented programming is and how to define classes and create objects in Python. In this video, we're going to learn how to use class inheritance, which is a really powerful feature in uh, OO, and it allows us to reuse and extend existing code. Essentially, class inheritance is a way uh, of allowing you to create a new class that inherits attributes and methods from another class. We're going to be looking at what is a parent or superclass, and also what is a child or subclass. To use inheritance in Python, you need to specify the name of a parent class in uh, parentheses after the name of the child class. Um, for example, if you want to create an employee uh, class and it's based on a person, so the person class, we only have to include parentheses and uh, write down that it, we have a person class here. Now to speed these tutorials along, um, I've already pre-written some code. The first bit of code is the initialization of the employee class. Now, just like we had with the person class, we've got a initialization, um, an initialization uh, method. Um, the initialization method carries or requests some information, the name, the age, and the gender, just as we had with the uh, person class. But it also includes um, two attributes which are going to be unique to the employee class. These are the department and the salary. Now, one of the benefits of using um, the inheritance model is that we can reuse the initialization of the person class when creating an employee. And we do that by calling this super uh, method. So what that's saying is from the parent class, and we know what the parent is because it's person, call the initialization method from the parent and I'm going to pass in the three uh, attributes that are associated with that initialization, the name, the age and the gender. So when this initialization is called for the employee, it will first of all run the initialization from the parent class, then uh, basically assign the salary and the department that's unique to the employee class. Once we've done that, let, we'll look at the uh, methods that we are going to use that are unique to the employee. The employee will, by default now, have a greet method because it's inheriting that from the person class. But it also has uh, a method called info. And this info method is basically saying, um, well, it's going to return a string. I work at or as a self-department and... Get the spelling right here, and I earn this salary per year. I've also got another method here called raise salary. Everyone likes to get a raise. The salary is going to be equal to whatever the salary was plus a percentage of that salary. So I might pass in, for example, 10%. So I get a 10% pay rise. And then it's going to just print my new salary is this. So let's create an object employee. So Bob. Bob is equal to an employee. And we're going to pass in, uh, the first three things we're going to pass in are the name, age, and gender. So let's pass in Bob. Bob can be 30. Bob can be a male. Uh, the department that uh, Bob's going to work in, uh, well, Bob can be a developer. And Bob can earn 30,000, whatever that 30,000 really means, you know, whatever the currency is. But that might be their yearly salary. Now I've created Bob, I can do the same things as I did before, bob.greet. Uh, Again, remember this greet is found in the person class. Bob has inherited everything from person because employee, the employee class inherits from person. So Bob has the greet method. I'm going to um, print bob.info. Okay. Remember info is coming now from the employee class. And I'm going to do, um, let's not do print, it's going to be bob.raise salary. And let's pass in that 10%. Okay, so if I run this now, we should see that we get, oh, we have an error. Why is that? Well, we got the error because I stupidly made that a string. That needs to be an integer. So let's run that again. There we go. So, hello, my name is Bob and I'm 30 years old. 
I work as a developer and I earn 30,000 per year. My new salary is 33,000 after a 10% rise or raise. Okay, so there we go. There's a good example of um, inheritance in action. We've got the parent class or super class. Uh, and now I've got, I've extended that person class. I've created an employee. I could create a, a different class. I could call it student. I could call it teacher. Maybe teacher uh, inherits from employee. Um, so you can have all these different layers um, and each new layer will inherit everything from the parent class. It's a really useful way of extending code, but also helps ma uh, maintenance as well. Really helpful features, really worth looking into. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next one.